brother Malik Watson prepared a really good uh, um, guideline and sheet on tips on high school. Brother Malik in, in studying in high school. Brother Malik Watson, alhamdulillah, he's a teacher at Sir Winston here in St. Catharines. Uh, his background, he has a bachelor's in mathematics and then he went to a teacher's college. So he has a bachelor's uh, education uh, certification, alhamdulillah, and he's a high school teacher in Sir Winston. So he sent me, in some, uh, he sent me all his notes and I'm going to make it more interactive because alhamdulillah we have many things in this uh, presentation. We have some very like informative and very like uh, specific things on uh, who we are as Muslims, our identity. We have personal experiences. We have things that you might know, you might not know. And I'm going to take this and use it as my background, using like uh, my experience in doing seminars and try to get everyone involved and engaged because everyone here is uh, preparing themselves and it takes a lot to do with you being ready. So Alhamdulillah, you have to understand where you are and then you can, inshallah, help us out. So I'm going to sit where I'm sitting, Alhamdulillah, and we're just going to have an open kind of uh, seminar or style discussion with the notes that Malik prepared. Jazakumullah khair. So basically what we do, I'm going to use the mic now, is that sometimes we need to do an icebreaker. So we're going to start off and talk about something completely random. It'll take three seconds. When I say food, what comes to mind? We'll go left to right. What comes to mind? Food. Pizza. Uh, I was going to say pizza. Cool. <laughs> Chicken. Chicken? What comes to mind when I say food? Banana. Bananas, OK. Burgers. Burgers? None. None? OK. OK. <laughs> OK. <laughs> yeah. Oh, me too. Yeah, what comes to mind? Okay. You read the word Spaghetti. food. Pardon? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Perfect. Okay, and we'll go this way. You guys will go one row at a time. Yeah, see. What would you, when I say food, what comes to mind? Chicken. Hassan. Uh, Mohammed. Craft dinner. Okay. <laughs> and then there's some little brothers in, the, in there that I can't completely see. What comes to mind when I say food? Food. Apple, okay. Oh, You're a healthy man. <laughs> Biryani. Biryani, okay. Macaroni. Macaroni? Okay, Alhamdulillah. Rice. Rice, not shawarma? Not shawarma. Okay. <laughs> Cereal. Cereal? Shawarma. Alhamdulillah. So as diverse as we are with our foods, we're diverse as we are with our thoughts when people say things. So if someone says something like homework, a lot of things are going to come to mind. Some people might be excited. Some people might think of a pile of work. Some people might think of just papers stacked up. Some people might think about what they're going to do after their homework. But Coming into high school, this may be the first time that you are challenged in your scholastic career. So, depending on the school you come from, depending on what you've been exposed to, the influence of like academics in your family, not everyone is always ready. If you're challenged by the content itself, then you're challenged each time you do a course, because courses are sometimes demanding. So you have to know that when you come in, that yes, technically, you have less classes in high school than elementary, but there are more demanding. You're gonna have to work a bit more harder. So maybe the first, Eight years of your life, you're able to not do your homework or play around or do your homework when you feel like it. But when you have a semester style, it's a little more required of time management. You have to work a bit more harder. So one of the things we need to do is think about what is expected from us. So what this is going to help to is cater to some things from a, the perspective of a teacher of how students can be better students. Alhamdulillah. The second thing, a lot of students sometimes they understand, they might feel like they understand what's going on, going on in class. But when they do the homework, it's clear that they don't really understand what's going on. So, uh, Brother Malik advises that make sure you do your homework to know if you really understand the content and if you don't, ask the teacher as soon as possible. It's very, very, very important to not feel uncomfortable or to not feel that perhaps you will be uh, judged by your teacher because your teacher is there to help you learn. It's, it's the responsibility of the teacher to look at each student's weaknesses and see how they can help them. So if you see you're some, something you're struggling with, don't just brush, brush it off. Sometimes what students do is they might just not understand the question and just get the answer from their friends or something and then the teacher will just think that you know. So it's important to make it very clear. In terms of homework as well, he says usually teachers are trained to give you enough time to finish your homework in class. So when I think about high school, what we're doing in high school, a lot of it might have been just games. And now I'm pretty sure some people will be on their phones, some people will be maybe eating, it depends. So you have to make sure that the time is used very beneficial. Because just like anything in life, you have the time to do it. And if you haven't done it and you had the time, then you really gotta, we gotta think where our time is going. He says, Malik says, usually teachers are trained to give enough time. And then he also says, usually teachers will help you with enthusiasm. Students work hard, teachers will encourage students to work hard, and they'll encourage them to finish their assignments on time and as soon as possible. What about when I say study? What do you guys think of? 
So we already did the food thing, so you guys should be comfortable. You already know how, what everybody likes in here, macaroni, chicken, shawarma, pizza, biryani. So now there's nothing to, there's no, this is, that's breaking the ice. For example, Muhammad, what comes to mind when I say study? Um, hours of sitting. Hours of sitting, right? Do you feel hours of sitting bored? Uh, yeah, maybe, Muhammad Ali? What do you think of a stu when you hear the word study? Awake at night time, putting a lot of time on books. Okay, uh, anybody else before I start randomly calling people? What What is study? When we hear the word study, are we, do we feel burdened? Are we, yeah, I see a lot of people nodding their heads. It's kind of a burden, right? Because there's expectations. Sometimes we don't feel like studying. One of the things that Brother Malik says here is that aside from the fact that you may be challenged, it might be the first time you face a different type of. Uh, system that's very requiring, like high school might require a lot from you, a lot of time you need to invest and a lot of time you need to study, the semester system might be a little different, studying becomes more, studying becomes a bit more important because you're going to be in a new, kind of like a new world, in terms of academics, there's a lot of different things that happen, that are different in high school, but studying is important because it's not a, it's not really a rotary system anymore, sometimes people have, they're coming from, on day one they have gym, math, science, and it rotates every day, are you guys familiar with the rotary system? Yeah, so now you're gonna have the same class. For example, math, science, math, science, English, and then maybe you're gonna take gym every single day for four months. And you're gonna get in that habit. Sometimes you'll feel like, oh, I have the same class tomorrow, so why should I study for it? I'm gonna do it again tomorrow. It's not like I have it next week. I, I'm gonna repeat it, I'm gonna hear it again. But it's more important because the system you have is different. The time, the, the time frame you have is different. And we have to use that to make sure that we know the mistakes we're making. Brother Malik says that repeating the same mistake and accepting a different result is the definition of insanity. So for example, I know that I have a test tomorrow and I go to sleep. And I'm like, okay, I might have not done so well in this, this exam. And then I go again, next test, I decide I'll study in the morning. And I'm like, okay, I'll study in the morning. I go to sleep and I miss it again. And then the same result happens. So. You have to learn, we have to learn and try our best to learn from our experiences. So this, he says here, listen to this, I've never studied. How do you study? So Malik says, you can review your homework. So a lot of students, sometimes, because they're coming into uh, a new kind of academic system which requires more, a lot of us sometimes in, prior to high school, we're really just having fun. Like, if I remember high school, to be honest with you, Alhamdulillah, like I did even like a lot of school, even like graduate school, I, I remember my pre-high school as just really having fun, doing homework, the tests maybe weren't that serious. And then, as I went on, you have to have, for example, you remember, I remember the exam, exam week, so then there's a whole day that I have to do one exam and then go home. And then I spend the rest of the day studying for the next exam. So the system is different. Even your, even your tests are different, right? It's not like you do a test in, in English and then you go to, to math and gym and you have fun. If you have a test, you're gonna have to study for that, you're gonna have the exam, and then you're gonna have the next, the whole day to study for the next test, or the next exam. So the fact that every exam has its own day shows the, the seriousness of it, right? Or else it would be back to back, you can do all four at one day and then have a weekend, have the weekend and have your time. So he says here, a, a questioner asks, I've never studied, how do you study? You can review your homework, pick tough questions from your homework and ask your teacher about them at lunch or after school. If you can't figure them out, ask for extra questions, see your friends, see your friends studying, have a study group, etc. So a lot of things with high school is that when we think of high school, when we think meeting new people, going to a bigger school. I remember me personally, when I went from grade eight, going into, going into high school, people in, in the high school were coming from several different smaller schools, right? Because people are coming from different seven, eight schools, or they're coming from a uh, school from grade one to grade eight, and they all come and they all join together, and then where are you from, and where are you from, and where are you from? So you meet new people, and he says here that you will have a better chance at doing well if you're with people who are preoccupied with doing things or have created habits. You have to filter through in life, right? You have to filter through. Know who you can hang out with, who you can, can't hang out with. Even here in the masjid, alhamdulillah, everyone's Muslim, we all love each other for the sake of Allah, but sometimes people don't click because people are personalities, right? Not, you can't always just hang out with everyone. Not everyone will be your friend. Some people you respect them and you can interact with them, but uh, you guys just don't click on a friendship level. Like you would work with them and hang out with them, but you wouldn't spend a weekend with them or being at their house and stuff like that because you're part of a bigger community. So high school is like that. You have to know when you see something or see someone or their personality. They might be a really good student, phenomenal student, but you don't like their character. So you might be, have, you might be able to work in school, 
and then distance yourself. He says, make friends, make many friends, but know when it's not best to be with some people. Brother Malik also talks about don't get involved in too many activities, right? When I think of high school, I think of basketball. A lot of time, people spend extracurricular activities, basketball, sports. His advice here is, you're no longer in elementary school. The courses are more challenging, and every hour of studying or completing homework matters. So we need to keep our time in check. He also says, your teacher doesn't have you. Your teacher doesn't hate you, but you could be. Your teacher doesn't hate you, but you could be annoying. <laughs> so listen to this. He says, your teachers are human. If you're annoying, i.e. you're often late or absent to class, usually don't finish your homework, often are disrupting the class, don't try to do well, etc. They might not be happy to see you, especially if they can't tell, especially if they can tell you enjoy giving them a hard time. So there's always that person in the class that tries to give the teacher a hard time, right? You know that kind of person, that one student who's just there to like, we used to call him the class clown back in the day? He's just there to cause trouble. Sometimes, if it's you, don't put your hand up or anything, but there's that one student who cause his goal coming to school is just to make everybody laugh by making the teacher like angry. And it's we see it in the in the kind of like in the pop, in popular popular culture and stuff. You know like when they say like April Fools that one student who thinks about putting a tack on the on the teacher's chair. In the old school cartoons they used to do this stuff. They used to have that one mischief student whose job is just to make the teacher bananas. So don't want don't be that person cuz that person is just preoccupied with making everybody laugh, alhamdulillah. It's good to laugh, you can laugh, but there's appropriate times to laugh. He says, be honest and be confident, and don't give up. Have a positive attitude, and inshallah you'll succeed. He says, remember the following, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we alone have distributed their livelihood among them in this worldly life, and raised some of them in rank and above, rank above others. So, alhamdulillah, we're coming from an Islamic perspective. Malik here mentions that as a high school teacher, there's a lot of stuff that we need to be aware that even if even if we don't Islam like is not the most like for example we're Muslim Alhamdulillah we're great Muslims we love Allah we love Rasulullah and we're studying and doing this if we're not even always spending our time at the masjid or at the library whatever you do people might judge Islam by you I met a guy the other day he walked through the masjid and he was looking for a tour he said I'm opening a restaurant nearby uh, who can I talk to about dietary restrictions I want you guys to come to my restaurant. And I said, okay, and we started talking about stuff what he, in, in that regard. And then he said, he said, there was a Muslim in my high school one time, but he's like, honestly, he looked Muslim. He, I'm just telling you about his ethnicity and stuff, but he never said a word that, from, that I, I could tell you whether he's Muslim or not. I'm just assuming he's Muslim. And he was coming to the mosque saying, oh, I just came by. Uh, I was scared to come in here, but I just want to know I'm opening a business. What, what can we do this? And I found this a very peaceful place. He didn't say mashallah, but mashallah, right? Very peaceful, very, he was at peace and he was shocked. I found him standing near the shura <laughs> as I was walking by. I said, hey, how are you doing, man? We went in, we showed him the actual building. I'm like, you've been sitting, standing here at the shura you know? He was more to the building. So we talked, we had a good time. And then he told me, I, I don't even know a lot of Muslims, but I'm a neighbor down the street. I'm a neighbor down the street. You have, guys have been good. As far as I know, you have been bad neighbors. So I decided to come by myself. So sometimes when I think of high school, a lot of us think about how I sit down and I think, what did people think of us as Muslims in high school? Like, what things did we do where people are like, oh, that guy's a Muslim. And now when they're, I, after like eight years of, I graduated 2010, so like seven years ago, if they hear, oh, or they go through the yearbook and they say, Ahmed Ahmed, you know, my name is Ahmed Ahmed. I often say the name is so nice that they named me twice. <laughs> this, they're going to say, what, what are they going to think about Ahmed Ahmed? Was Ahmed Ahmed the troublemaker? Ahmed Ahmed this, that, was he... Because now they have Muslims all the time. Be like, hey, I know a Muslim. Whether you like it or not, alhamdulillah, we're, like, people are going to associate Islam with the things that we do. So Brother Malik says to make sure that, inshallah, we have good representations. One example he gave me, he said that some Muslims request time off exams because they say we can't do this test because it's Ramadan. And we're fasting. We can't. We, so there's these kind of things. That kind of can, yani in, Arabic, in Sudanese, sometimes you say, right? it messes the image of what's going on. Does Ramadan really say that you can't do an exam? You can wake up, have photo, have suhoor, think, eat your, eat your early breakfast, and try to work hard. So the good, the, one of the best things we do, we can do is not try to utilize those opportunities we have to, to, to kind of cause problems. So one thing, the, one of the most powerful things in terms of school, because we're going in as Muslims, right? An ayah that in the Quran that's really powerful, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that He's the one who created you in the stomachs of your mothers, not knowing anything. 
and then he gave you sight, he gave you hearing, sight, and understanding. So everyone started at the same playing ground. If you work hard, inshallah, and I work hard, and you work hard, we'll be successful. A lot of it has to do with your friends. Brother Malik here quotes the hadith, everyone is on the deen of their companions. So really, it's who you're hanging out with. If you're hanging out with people who care, you'll hang out with people who care. If people don't care, they won't care. And it's up to you to choose who you hang out with because you're in school for roughly six hours a day, right? It's your choice, alhamdulillah. So make the right choice. It's really simple. You're adults, make the right choice, and you'll get the right outcomes, inshallah. Which is akumullah khair. Thank you guys for your attentive listening.